Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new process video and this is another layout in my autumn kit series and this is a double page spread today. I have this side which you can see I have an empty 4x6 pocket so I need to find something for there. And then this side will actually be a full 6x8 page. I have two photos, one of each here and I sort of like the idea of having this at the top better however I think that's too much of us there and then having this alone at the bottom seems weird so I may end up having to trim this down a little bit to get it to fit put it at the bottom and this one will be at the top really what I need to start with though is four by six card and then background paper for the six by eight portion so here is my autumn kit so I will be pulling as much from here as I can so I'm going to start with the cards my four by sixes are kind of tucked behind there and then I do have some 12 by 12 and 6 by 12 papers in here as well so I will be looking through those for this background for this four by six pocket I have picked out this card and I think this one is from Ellie's studio pretty sure. I love the pattern in it and the colors are perfect. They've got the yellowy orangish gold, this more bright orange, the dark red, even a little bit of gray for a neutral and all of those are here, even gray in the rocks here. So I think this one will work perfectly. Well, picking out the background paper is a lot more difficult than I thought. Because this is so busy, I can't really use any of these plaids that I have in here because it's I'm, that's just too much, too much, too much. I do kind of like this, but it's not quite the right shade of yellow. It doesn't totally match. So I really ruled out pretty much all of those. Those are all from a Creative Memories pack these plaid ones and then this is what's on the reverse none of those are going to work and then I liked the idea of having a darker red in there maybe but when I held both of these up I didn't like either of them this again too much clashing pattern I think and same here this is a little better but I just I don't know I wasn't sure about the polka dots with that and so I pretty much just nixed all of those I'll same thing here I like the yellow but I didn't like the patterns so it got me to these two. Now I still have the dot issue here, but I like the color. But this one is pretty much perfect because there's a very, very subtle pattern on here. It's sort of a heathered look or a grungy, but it's barely noticeable. But the color is perfect. Look at those. They go so well together. My only concern is that there's a lot of yellow happening in these photos already. So if I add them, I mean, look at that. I either need to mat these, I probably need to do some washi if I don't mat them, and then I've got to bring in some extra colors. And I'm thinking maybe the aqua from my shirt and my sweater since, since I'm in there and it doesn't appear anywhere else, maybe I can work that in somehow, but I've got to do something else. And maybe even some green because the green here is so, there's so little representation of it. I could bring that in and that might really help. I did cut this down to six by eight, so now that part is ready. And then I pulled out a bunch of my embellishment and ephemera type stuff, just so I could start looking through there to find some things that might work. And I did find one little element here that I really like. I was talking about that green, and I'm thinking maybe if I just overlap this along the bottom, it adds a really nice pop of green and it brings out this green in the background really well. And I hadn't anticipated that, but I'm really digging the way that looks. In this pack of wood veneer that I had in my kit, this was also in there. And I want to use it on this card. I think I'm going to keep the leaves where I had them and then just overlap it in some ways similar to that because this layout, two of the three of us are there. In the previous layout, my other friend is there. So I do want it to show that we were doing this as a friend's day out to relieve the stress of 2020. So I think I want to build my card like that. And I don't know that I'll do anything else on it. If I did, I would probably stamp or maybe just splatter on it, but I'm not sure yet. For now, I'm just gonna start with this. 
it. I have glued everything down here. So while that's drying, I'm gonna let that sit over there and then I will work on the right hand page. So since I have my background paper, that helps me a lot. And I know I have green on the other side. So working in green over here might be helpful. I do have these stickers. So I could sort of mimic what's on this side. They're not exactly the same color, but the darker parts, this shade to that shade are pretty close. So I might be able to work something in falling off the border or something like that. So I'm certainly considering those, but I'm willing to keep an open mind in case there's anything in here or in here that works better. When I went into my washi stash, I remembered that I have this one. It's green and it has leaves on it. It's not a perfect match to over here, but it's pretty close to that bottom color. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna look on such a bold background. So I'm just gonna take off a little bit and try it. If I hate it, not a big deal. This is why it's a good thing that washi is repositionable. I added the washi on there and I think I do like it because when you hold those next to each other, it, the green does look good. But I think that's probably all the green I need. It's quite bold. I did also trim down these photos to make sure that they would fit on there like that. So I have those ready to go. And then I pulled out this sticker sheet to see if there's any way I could work in this aqua color. And I like both of these. I like this little sticker here that's got the blue flower on there. Actually, I also have this one. That's cute. This says hello. These are remnants. I use the middle section for something else for my opening page. And I have these left. There's also blue in there. I even thought about this, not using the I Love Fall, just fall and putting it here. But I'm worried that might be too much. But those letters are pretty big and I'm just not sure that that would go because I really, I have no blue on this. Now I do in the, in the other photos, I just don't have it on the card and I'm not sure how that'll look. I decided to use two of the stickers I had this came as one piece this is a second piece but I love it that it works in the blue plus these colors which are also in the card now I do think though I am going to add something else to this and it's a little bit of the blue because on here I have this little blue heart that I could layer in there I thought about using the end of this but I wasn't quite sure how to make that work. So I think I'm gonna try the heart first. If I hate the way it looks and, and I don't feel that it goes because it's a heart, then I may switch to one of these. Well, I didn't like the way the heart looked at all. So I decided to use this piece and just wedge it slightly under the wood veneer and then just under the edge of this. And I think it's cute. I love that it brings in the blue. I was worried about these patterns, but really against this, I think it ended up being okay because they're such small areas. So that is done, I think. Again, I might splatter, but that's about it. This side though, I feel like it's still too blank up here. So I feel like I need something. I do have a bird that matches this one. It's just bigger, but it's the same color as the background. Not sure how that would work. Otherwise, I was trying to use up as much of this as I could. I'm not quite sure how else I would use this because this other flower is also yellow. I could maybe do this one. It's more of the orangey color. So maybe I could try that and just see how it goes. I think I'm going to use the orange one up here and I'll just cut off the edge like I did for the leaf here. And then I can stamp something in there or I can find just one phrase in here that will fit that space. I found this phrase and it's the right color. And I love that it says make today count because we really were trying to make it count. We knew we probably wouldn't be able to go out much again after this if COVID kept getting bad, which it did. So I think that's quite appropriate. I thought maybe I was going to do some misting or splattering on here. Now I've decided not to. I didn't have quite the right color, but I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to use this very old stamp from Stampin' Up. And a very old ink. This is, what is it? There we go. Tempting Turquoise. It's very old, as you can see, very well loved. So I'm just going to stamp it as it looks here. I probably will do a stamp and then stamp away a second time so it's not quite as bold. So it should look like that when it comes out. My stamping is done. So there you can see it 
on the four by six card, mostly at the bottom, and then I just did a little bit on the side. Because this is so busy, I left the rest of it. And then on this one, I did just a little bit on the bottom there on that open border, and then right here along the top, and a tiny, tiny bit right here, maybe two or three dots, that's it. And I think that's enough, so now I'm gonna put everything in the pockets. As I was putting everything in the pockets, I felt like I needed something in the upper half here. And so I did find that phrase label that says time away, which is perfect. That's exactly what it was. That's what we were looking for. I think it works well. So since these are back in the book and in the pockets, I'll do some close ups there. I love how this turned out. And then there's the right hand page with the extra stuff and I'm very happy with it. So here's another one done in my autumn series. Thanks for watching.